interesting story about this game is actually uh, it was created in Unity and there was one programmer and coincidentally that programmer happened to come from CD. So I think the last batch, Gulshan, Gulshan's batch was the last batch. So hired one from there, his name was Gulshan. And uh, so we hired him as an intern and we thought that hey let's 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 start something new with this guy. And we told him we want to create a pooling game. And I think he had done unity. He was he was really good in Unity and he started working on Bully Central and uh, created. I mean, he was the only programmer for a very very long time on that game. And when the game reached the stage that we thought that yes, this is really fun to play, uh, we can create. Uh, so, for example, if you see there is a very unique design that we have, there are a lot of obstacles that come in a way. Uh, what allows that to do is, as I told you, like how much for how much time the game will be fun. Okay. So the game that we have is to create hundreds and two hundreds of levels. Right? So that there is something new that we will always have when we play the game. Right? It's still not just like a 10 game but simple bowling game. And then we hired one more programmer on this. And uh, coincidentally that programmer happened to be from IIT Bombay. And he was also a game designer. So all the levels that are there in the game were designed by an IIT game. So if you really, uh, if you are able to beat that, you can think of yourself as the most senior level, right? And uh, coincidentally, the producer uh, on this game also happened to come from CMDU. A lot of coincidences. <laughs> And uh, we hired that person uh, back in 2011, uh, so that's a long time back. So we hired that person as a game programmer initially, uh, and then he actually promoted himself to become an associate producer as a company. So there's three people. Uh, like if you play the game, you'll understand the kind of complexities that are there inside the game. It took us around nine months to get it. So the initial phase was just about like, take a skin and really figuring out if we can actually make this game playable for the world, for example. Right, so, <clears throat> yeah, become an expert in what you do. Looking at the current trends in the market, and uh, Jitan is also here, I'm sure he will also guide you on a few things, but I guess. In our company, it is unity something that is that is what we are using, and I think a lot of people in the industry are also uh, using it. Uh, I was really tempted to create a game engine of my own. Uh, as a company, we are a lot inclined towards technology as well, so I'm not sure if a lot of you know about Rollo Motion. Uh, so that's also one of the technology that we use. It actually converts your phone into a sensor. And you can play games like V using your phone, for example. And uh, I created the engine, I think it was a mix. If I look back now, I think I don't know if that was the right decision or not, but that would have saved me a lot of time. Right? Uh, I invested a lot of in making the engine rather than making the game, per se. But it is very, very important for you to know that you should have your concepts right. If you are trying to become a programmer, make sure that you understand the foundation of game programming. You can learn Unity, but if you don't know what's happening behind the scenes in Unity, uh, that won't be enough. I mean, if you just know Unity, it won't be enough. So understand. So, for example, if I have to talk in mathematical terms or more technical terms, like understand what are vectors, right? Understand how lighting works. Understand the mathematical concepts behind why things are the way they are, for example. That will actually make you an expert, right? Knowing a tool, everybody can know that tool. Okay, I have to press this button, I have to press this button, I have to press this button, and boom, this is created. 
But how that is created, that is what will differentiate you from the others. Right? Uh, so we launched one more game. Good for moving, just gotta love the way I swing. Hey. Girl, move, don't stop, keep moving. Let me teach you how to swing. Hey. I got that good for moving, just gotta love the way I swing. Hey. Girl, move, don't stop, keep moving. Come on, teach me how to swing. Hey. I got my body moving, just gotta love the way I move. Hey. But move, don't stop, keep swinging. Come on, teach me how to swing. Hey. I got my body moving, just gotta love the way I move. Hey. But move, don't stop, keep swinging. And uh, it was a huge, very, very ambitious project for us. You know, if you notice that there is no 3D, it is actually a short video that we had. Uh, and we had no idea how to do it. Right? Starting from getting a choreographer, getting a dancer, getting a studio, shooting it, and then actually working on it to create the visual effects, we had no idea how to do it. But one thing that we are really proud of is as a company we are very ambitious. Right? We we don't and I think all of you in your career as well should be really ambitious. Right? Because if you aim this at least you'll be able to reach here. If you aim this then you will reach here as high as you can aim and basically impossible is nothing if you feel that you can't be a good PA programmer for example and sometime you thought that you can be uh, you might be wrong you can be a great PA programmer so ambitious and that's what I'm saying uh, get become an expert and have a strong belief that you can so basically, we were able to pull off this game uh, pretty well. And uh, of all the games that we have created till now, I would say this was the most challenging game that we have ever created. And I think one of the biggest competitors that we have is Ubisoft. They have <laughs> Just dance, we have dance party. So the idea behind this game was actually showcase the roller motion technology that we have and what's better than dance to showcase that. Right? Technology advanced with this. But at the same time, I would say uh, dance party turned out to be the least successful project, the least successful game that we had. Uh, it's not because of how the game is. Uh, I mean, we got a lot of 5 star reviews, uh, everybody loved the game, but I think one of the biggest mistakes that we made, or I wouldn't say mistake, uh, because everything is a learning experience when you are running your company, but the market that we went after was fairly small. Right? So it works with Apple TV, uh, so Apple TV is a very small device that you can connect to your TV through HDMI. And uh, there are only 20 million of them out there in the market. 20 million, two crores, for example. And if you look at the iPhone market, iPhone, iPad, that is like huge market. Uh, I think somewhere 400 to 500 million. So you can imagine uh, the amount of addressable market that we had. So had, we had less number of customers. So we had less number of sales. So from a commercial perspective, if I have to look, then Dance Party is a less successful game. So the learning that I had from this is don't put all your bets on the future. Right? But at the same time, it, you should always be prepared for the future. So 
So the way we are working in the company now is so earlier it was like almost 90%, 10%. We used to put 90% on efforts on the future, on the on the things that might become really huge, and 10% efforts on the things which is current. So it turned out that this strategy wouldn't work because you can't really predict the future. We thought that Apple TV market will become huge in time to come. We still believe that, but it has it hasn't happened till now, right? So we have flipped it. 10%, 90%. 10% always look out for the future because in the future that is what is going to differentiate us as a company. And put 90% efforts on what is current. Right? So in your careers as well, if you are learning Unity, put 90% efforts there and put 10% efforts on what is going to come. I am not sure how many of you know about Oculus Rift. But just to give you an example, Unity supports that, right? So if you are learning about Unity, you might want to take a look on how Unity works with Oculus Rift as well, right? But only 10%. Don't, I mean, don't waste a lot of time there, but you should at least know. And always be on a lookout for what's happening in the industry. What are the trends? What are the things? Right, I'm sure if you are trying to become an artist in the gaming industry, your objective will be to become an art director, maybe going forward, right? If you are trying to become a designer, maybe you want to become a producer going forward. And how do you go forward is because you know things that others don't. And how do you know that? You know what are the trends and what's, what's the future, what's going to work, right? And if you put like 90% things on the future, People will say, hey, this person will become useful after some time. So let's not get bothered. So current 